According to witnesses, about 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle turned on its side and exploded, followed by a massive sound wave. Many people were filming and taking photos of the launch on their smartphones, including Becky Max, who came out to watch the blast with her husband after work. A big plume of smoke, uh, lots of fire, um, and then the debris falling. I could see the top of the rocket and pieces of the rocket falling to the ground. Very loud. I mean, it shook the ground. I could feel it in my chest. It shook my chest. It was very, very loud. SpaceX released a statement tonight saying that an anomaly was detected during the flight and that the system automatically terminated itself. And Doug and Nikki, thankfully, it was an unmanned rocket and nobody was injured by that falling debris. We are learning more this evening about the SpaceX rocket that exploded. Tonight's test flight was the second for the Falcon 9 reusable test rocket. The first flight test was successful at 250 meters. That's about 820 feet back on April 17th. This particular spacecraft is the successor to the Grasshopper test vehicle. That is capable of going straight up into the air, moving side to side and landing vertically. Right now you're looking at video of that Grasshopper model. The Grasshopper performed a successful launch into orbit, landing vertically on the ocean surface before going into the water. SpaceX called it a huge success, and this technology is expected to drastically reduce the costs associated with space travel. Now, unfortunately, it looks as though this test did not work out the way SpaceX had intended. And SpaceX did release a statement later this evening on the explosion of this rocket. The statement said in part SpaceX was conducting a test flight of the Falcon 9R. Now, during the test flight, the rocket terminated itself due to some complications. The rocket remained in its designated flight area when it exploded. Again, they report no injuries.